Ragweed season is here, and the high pollen count is only going to get worse. Get worse. Ava Wilhite is here now to explain what that means for allergy sufferers this fall. Ava? Well, Jeff Nicole, it means if you have allergies, stay indoors if possible, especially in the morning when pollen counts tend to be higher. As soon as I walk outside, just my eyes get red and itchy and my nose is stopped up and sneezing a lot. It seems as soon as fall classes begin, so does the sniffling and the sneezing. In the last week to two weeks, ragweed has come out. It traditionally comes out about August 15th. So right when the kids go back to school. Dr. Caton Sheff is an allergist with the Lafayette Allergy and Asthma Clinic. He says his clinic is seeing all the classic symptoms from itchy eyes to runny noses and sometimes coughing. For some, medicine doesn't seem to be helping. I've been trying to take medication, but usually it works on me and it hasn't this year. I've lived in Indiana all my life and this has been the worst. And if you think your allergies are bad now, just wait a week or two. With no moisture in the air, allergy sufferers are going to want to avoid outdoors at all costs. The counts have been much higher this year, and the way the weather is setting up, it's going to be much higher over the next several weeks. A lot of moisture in the middle part of the summer and a lot of heat, and then ragweed has grown quite heavily. Now that it's dried out, the ragweed will pollinate in the wind and drier weather will cause it to be much higher in its counts. Dr. Seth says stay indoors, especially in the morning when pollen counts tend to be higher. He says most people should be able to cope with over-the-counter antihistamines. Just taking Benadryl and doing what you can. Now, Dr. Sheff says if over-the-counter meds aren't offering relief, prescription drugs or allergy shots might offer some. Ava Wilhite, News Channel 18.